welcome dear students now today's video is a very special video and the knowledge which you are going to get through this video is not only going to be useful to you for answering the exams or for gaining the textual knowledge but it will be helpful to you throughout your life so all those students who are just watching the video to find out the mcqs or are not interested in learning the things may exit the video right now only no need to watch the video and all those students who are really interested in learning the things through this video are most welcome but i suggest them to watch the video from the starting till the end today we are going to discuss about the secondary memory so to understand the concept of secondary memory it's better that we should know the secondary storage devices so here i have placed the photos of uh, the most commonly used secondary storage devices that is hard disk pen drive dvd memory card etc now these all storage devices are permanent storage device that means if you save anything in this that is hard disk or memory card pen drive anywhere then it will remain even if there is no electric current so we can say that all the secondary storage devices are permanent storage device and secondary memory is permanent memory so the concept of secondary memory is clear now am i right so now we will study further let's begin we all know that uh, primary memory is costly for example if you purchase a 4 gb ram then it may cost uh, say around 2000 rupees now in the same price you will get 1000 gb that is 1 terabyte hard disk at the same price so we can say primary memory is costly and another thing primary memory is able to store the data only till the power supply is on that i have already explained you suppose if you are typing something or you are doing a picture in paint if the power supply goes off then the data will be lost now we need to store the data for a longer period of time am i right so so that it could be used later for example if i have typed a letter then i need to save it then any time i can make the use of it so for this purpose secondary memory is used just now only you have seen all the secondary storage devices secondary memory stores large amount of data and instructions permanently now just now we had compared the size of a ram the size of a ram that is primary memory was 4 gb while the size of the hard disk that is secondary memory was 1 terabyte right so secondary memory is able to store large amount of data and permanently it stores the data the popular storage devices are hard disk pen drive dvd cd etc secondary memory is not directly accessible to processor of a computer but requires use of computers input output channels secondary memory is usually slower than the primary memory but it always has higher storage capacity and uh, just now only i had compared the storage capacity of a hard disk and a ram further the secondary storage memory is non volatile non volatile means permanent all this thing hard disk memory card pen drive in this thing if you store the data it will remain for ever data remains unchanged even after switching of the computer naturally secondary storage or secondary memory is also known as auxiliary memory or auxiliary storage now this video is very easy for you to understand 
okay now just now we had seen the pictures of different storage devices secondary storage devices among them one by one i have to explain you and in this you will get such a lot of knowledge so many things which you may not be knowing you will come to know right now now first thing this photograph is of the hard disk which is fit inside the cpu that is cabinet of your computer now hard disk is also known as hard drive storage capacities of the hard disk now there are two types of hard disk one is magnetic and a, another is ssd so the storage capacity of hard disk which is uh, magnetic may be from 500 gb to 4 terabytes 4 tb and the ssd hard disk capacity is small it is 300 gb up to 500 gb generally ssd hard disk is used for storing only the program files and the operating system because ssd hard disk is like a memory card it doesn't take time to load so if the operating system is installed inside it your computer will start in few seconds and if the programs are also installed in it the programs will work and it will start that is it will load very fast now see here i have kept the photograph of an open hard disk now if anybody is watching the video and you are having an hard disk and screw driver with you please do not open the hard disk like this way because as soon as you open the hard disk and the uh, platters get exposed to the air or light all the data will get lost a hard disk consist of one or more rigid metal or glass plates coated with metal oxide material that allows the data to be magnetically recorded on the surface of the platters now this platters you can compare with the cds okay they are like the cd on which the data is been stored now data and instructions are recorded on the oxide based surface by magnetiz uh, magnetizing selected particles of the surface it also contains read write heads which reads and write data on the disk platters now another thing that just now we learned that data is written on this platters right now how is the data written as soon as you click the save button the data gets uh, saved in this thing how is it saved for that there are read and write heads here you can see this triangular type of thing that is the head which enables you to read and write the data a hard disk platters spins at a high rate of speed typically 5400 to 7 to 00 times per minute you just try to imagine that the thing rotates at such a high speed this is known as rpm rotation per minute or revolution per minute and when the computer is on this thing keeps on constantly rotating this is the image of an external hard disk we can also call it pocket hard disk generally the storage capacity of an external hard disk is 500 gb up to 1 tb now here the photograph which you are watching just now is the photograph of a cd nowadays we all are familiar with the pen drive or sd card but before the usage of uh, this thing pen drive or sd card cds were used to store the data and mainly the songs used to be stored in this type of cd or it is also known as optical disc the diameter of this cd is 4.75 inches and the storage capacity of this cd is 700 mb now here it is not like pen drive that you get the cd in various storage capacity or various size it is fixed it was available or it is available in 700 mb but it is safe to store the data up to 650 mb now 
any type of data could be stored in the CD, same like pen drive. And data is burned or stored into the CD using the beams of laser light. Now see, storing data in pen drive is copying data in pen drive we can call, while here storing data in uh, a CD is known as burning data into the CD. Now you can pause the video here and uh, have a look at the actual working of the CD inside a uh, computer. Now the storage of a CD is not like a pen drive that any time you can uh, copy the data and delete the data and format the pen drive and no it's not like that way. Here whenever you copy the data that is you burn the data, the burn forms patterns of small pits in the disk surface to represent the data and the pits are permanent so the data cannot be changed once written. There is no facility of modification of data here. Now see here an interesting thing about how the data is stored in the CD is displayed through a diagram. When we store any data first the data gets stored in the inner part of the CD. Then as the CD starts getting occupied the data will be stored after that that is gradually it will be stored in the uh, outside orbit. CDs are of three types that is CD ROM, CD write and CD rewritable. First we will understand the CD ROM. Now CD ROM stands for compact disk read only memory. CD ROMs usually comes with the data already written on them. See whenever you purchase any product, suppose you purchase a printer, then the printer drivers are available in the CD which comes along with the printer. Many of the CDs containing the software or containing the antivirus or containing songs are available in this form. And why it is known as ROM? Because it is read only memory. You can just read what, what is written inside it. You cannot erase it. Neither you can add any data in that CD. Second type of CD is CDR that is re-recordable CD. Now this type of CD comes blank. When you purchase the CD it comes blank. Then the user can write the data on it. The user can store songs or can store programs on it. Now once the data is written, the data can be read from it for any number of times. If you have stored the songs, you can hear, you can listen to that songs for any number of times. Hence it is known as write once and read many. That is WORM. These CDs are known as CD re-recordable or CDR. But one of the limitation of this CD or the previous CD is that you cannot delete any data once it is written. And the last type of CD is CD rewritable. This is costlier in comparison to the previous one. One of this type of optical disc data can be erased and the same CD can be used to rewrite the data or information. That is, you can compare it with a pen drive, but it is not exactly like the pen drive. Because here you cannot erase a specific file, you can just format the CD, like that way it is. These are sometimes known as EO, that is Erasable Optical Disk or CDRW, that is Rewritable CD. Uh, this bluish type of CD which you are seeing just now is not a CD actually, it is a DVD. The dimensions of CD and DVD are the same, but the storage capacity and the mechanism is different. The full form of DVD is Digital Versatile Disc. It is mostly used for storing movies with high video resolution and sound quality. CDs and DVDs look the same in the dimension, but DVDs are encoded 
with different format at a higher density and the storage capacity of a dvd is 4 gb so in comparison to the cd that is 700 mb and 4 gb the difference is much more more than four times the last secondary storage device actually it should be the first according to you isn't it is usb pen drive usb flash drives are known as pen drives they are small and rewritable they are flash memory data storage devices integrated with usb that is universal serial bus interface the different storage capacities of a pen drive is 2 gb 4 gb 8 gb 16 gb 32 gb 64 gb or even up till 128 gb besides computer pen drives are also accessible through tv mobile and mp3 player also so here we complete this video if you have like the video please hit the like button and if you are new on my channel please do subscribe the channel and stay connected now we meet in the next video goodbye